tremendous Golden Shears and World Cheering Championships. But this is their last duty here for 2012. Well, Coro, that's an incredible lineup. And we in New Zealand are so fortunate to have had many, many champions. Okay. Some great shearers. Well, while the shearers are getting themselves organized, ladies and gentlemen, the roles of the judges here tonight on the board, the guys with the blue shirts are watching the quality of the shearing. Every time the shearer makes a stroke with his handpiece, if he doesn't cut the wool off in nice, neat, clean staple, and he goes back and cuts it again or cuts the staple of wool in half, he creates a second cut, a double cut. And to the uh, wool industry, I think it's about a $20 million loss. So those guys are keeping an eye on the quality every time it makes a stroke. And down the porthole, there is another team of judges that turn the sheep around. They lift it up. The only thing the judges out there don't look at is the colour of the sheep's eyes. They really scrutinise the job. It is really the guy that can shear the fastest, make the less second cuts, and does a beautiful job out the back. That's our champion tonight. That's right. But in, in saying that, just because you're first off doesn't mean that you're going to win. You have to have what Coro's just explained. A good time, quality on the board, and quality out the back. So those, all those three things go together. You can't get judges, away with anything. Those judges have been going hard for four days. They have, and they're all experienced. Some of them come from overseas. Selwyn Tomlin is our board referee by the look of it. And, of course, he's been here since the inception of Golden Shears and a very, very experienced man indeed. We give them just a few moments, as you can appreciate, as Colin King will tell you, having won this competition a couple of times, Colin, this is the one that everybody wants. And the last little things that you do in that pen, with instructions to your pen boys, and all the little traits that you have are so important. I guess it brings back, it makes the hair stand on the back he's, of his neck. He's sweating. Already. Yeah. <laughs> He's, He's got memories, you see, Coro. Pleasant ones up here. So they're slowly coming back onto the board. Uh oh, it's got sheep been. supplier. Sheep supplier. Bag shot. I think it is. Yes, again, and these. Uh, that's another thing. The farmers here have done an Bag incredible shot. job. Absolutely incredible well, job. And the carriers. Keeping two days them dry. of rain. Absolutely. The golden shears machine just keeps chugging along. No problem. Okay, so it looks like we're just about ready. Sell one, we're we okay. All right, now it's time for us to disappear to our positions and we'll get them out onto the board and get them underway for this, the 52nd Golden Shears and, of course, the 15th World Championships in conjunction. But this, then, is the big one for these gentlemen up here. Cam Ferguson, Roland Smith, David Fagan, Gavin Much, Darren Ford, John Kirkpatrick, the 2012 Golden Shears. Time keepers ready. Judges ready. Competitors get set. Go! Oh. Back onto the board. They come with the first of 20 competition sheep. John McBride, you and I have seen quite a few of these. And I believe this one might be pretty special. What a lineup we've got tonight. Well, it's certainly a lineup. And I just look around the audience before and all those past winners that are here. Past world champions, past Golden Shears winners. Good to see them here watching a grand spectacle. The world champs and open Golden Shears title up for grabs here now. We've seen some electric pace in that uh, round of the world. The final of the world, the first event this evening. Over the top here on stand number one comes Cam Ferguson. He is the current world champion, at least until another half an hour. David Fagan, 44 seconds, Norm. He's a legend, this man. He's a legend among legends, John. That's what he is on stand number three. David Fagan from Tegilde punches into the first hind leg. But Johnny Kirkpatrick from Napier down there on six, right there with him. Darren Ford into the first hind leg he goes. He's from the deep south, Darren Ford. He's a Highlander supporter. Any rugby fan will know at the moment, the Highlanders just beat the Crusaders by three points. So Darren's already a happy man. Gavin oh. Much from Scotland punches round into the long blow. He's a very, very fast shearer. We saw him take the world, uh, the world shearing event in speed anyway. Roland Smith from Rawai. Down over the last shoulder he comes, but still no Johnny Kirkpatrick. Johnny Kirkpatrick. 
Trip the light, fantastic ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a boomer. Down the last side comes Gavin Much. Roland Smith has just popped in for sheep number four, and it's only, sorry, three, and it's only one minute and 46 seconds. Hold on to your feet, seat belts. The mojo is starting to flow tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is into the undermine. Darren Ford, but Johnny Kirkpatrick said, been there, done that, brother, I'm out of here. Long blow time for Johnny K. Cam Ferguson around behind the ear, but look at this man, the captain of the Enterprise. Scotty, give me some more warp power. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. He's fired up there, Johnny. Yeah, I think he got a little bit of a shake up in the earliest year, and he says, Right, oh boys, I'm going to take it to you. Two and 22 gone, and he's on sheep number four. Down the belly he goes. Darren Ford on five out the last leg. Gavin Much is going to be last to go in for his uh, third, fourth sheep. David Fagan brings out one, has a quick look along the board. Rolly Smith up the top, now he steps as Cam Ferguson, another woolly between his knees. Down the belly, he can watch this fella on the front stand here. He's a great class of shearer. Down the first off leg, done everything pretty much. And uh, he's won the golden shears once before. Can he do it again? Any one of these six guys can do it as Johnny K comes over the last side. Up the top comes Darren Ford and down towards the first shoulder. Facing away from the crowd. Now he goes into the long blow of the sheep. Working it nice and hard, but Rolly Smith... Here he comes, the rule wide! Oh, We've oh. got a new leader here, the man from North Auckland. But right with him is Johnny Kirkpatrick from Napier, ladies and gentlemen. Round the long blow comes at Gavin Much, but David Fagan goes in for another one. Darren Ford ready to go. Cam Ferguson's in for another one. On stand number one, the man from Waipawa, the current world champion. Back onto the board is your man from the Deep South, Norm. Darren Ford it is on stand number five, but Roland Smith... Rolling around into the long blow now. Punches his way up. Couple of short blows and big sweeping one right into the base of the off here. Turning on to the last cheek now. He's a couple of blows ahead of Johnny Kirkpatrick on stand number six. Roland Smith, once he gets a rhythm going, he's very hard to keep up with, Cordell. Here comes Roland Smith, ladies and gentlemen. The Smith machine is getting into action. Here comes Roland Smith. In he goes now. John Kirkpatrick, sheep number six on the board. Four minutes and eight seconds, ladies and gentlemen. It's all on here at the War Memorial Stadium. Long blow time for Gavin Much, but he's getting a little bit behind because that man on stand number two, the Smith machine round behind is but Johnny K been there done that give him a little bit more power a little bit more fuel long blow time last side here he is Cam Ferguson coming back into the play Johnny McBride right over it's the Ferguson here works away on the front stand round the back of the head it's early pieces yet this is only sheep number six but it's Rolly Smith coming across he's chasing out after Johnny K down the last side can the youth pull L, the old experienced campaigner up? David Fagan's never far away from the frame here. Right across the shoulder he comes. Darren Ford's an old master as well and he rocks around to the long blow. Turns onto the last side of the sheep. Round the back of the head comes Gavin Much. He needs to do a little bit more and pull out the choke as he's going to catch these boys. Into the long blow goes the Scotsman. There goes David Fagan going in. Cam Ferguson's got another one on the board. Darren Ford right behind him down there. Johnny K though, five or six blows at the moment. Phil dropping into the long blow and about to turn for the money side of the sheep. Well, goodness gracious me, just how quick can these boys get? Gavin Much ready to put another one out. But it looks like Johnny K just on that last side. Look at him, he's pouring that wool off. Down over the last front shoulder comes Roland Smith. Fagan starting to come back at the leaders. Out comes J.K. Now Cam Ferguson starting to pick up a few blows on the rest of the field. Kevin Much takes the top knot off and steps up the neck as Darren Ford goes down into the long blow on stand number five. You see them up there on the screen, but in person they're down on the board. Back onto the board comes David Fagan with another one. And that's number eight for him. Into that first hind leg is Smith. Ferguson's out on stand number one. Then it's J.K. into the long blow norm. They're having a real battle up there and we're only eight sheep. There's 12 to go. Six minutes, 16 gone on the clock, Phil. Johnny Kirkpatrick, he wants that red ribbon just as much as anyone else here, and he's doing everything he can to get it. But Roland Smith, not far away either, down over the last front shoulder, he comes the man from Rural Iron Stand 2.
But another couple of blows. Johnny Kirkpatrick, he's going to be backing out with sheep number nine. Here he is, JK down there, folks. In goes Roland Smith. There's only a couple of blows in it now. David Fagan punches his way down over the last front shoulder. Cam Ferguson, we've seen him come from behind as well before. He's a very, very strong finisher. JK top knot off. Roland Smith into the hind leg. Fagan and Ferguson finishing. And Darren Ford round through, finishes a long blow. Gavin much long blow time for him as well, Cuddle. But it's still JK at this stage as he hounds his way around the long blow. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are not tame sheep. These are wild animals. It's man versus wild, and they don't, they don't hypnotize them. They've got them under control. Beautiful control these shearers have. They are wild animals, believe me. And down the last side, that's the balance that these shearers give to the job. Into the undermine, this goes forward. A long blow time for Fagan. Johnny Kirkpatrick just getting faster. Down the last side comes Cam Ferguson. Roland Smith's the closest one to this man here. John Kirkpatrick, where's all the Smith family? Make a bit of noise. Get underneath there. Roland Smith gets up the neck by Johnny K. All he has to do is just make a little slip. Run into the pen, Cam Ferguson. Down the last side is this man, Darren Ford. Gavin Much coming down there, but it is all John Kirkpatrick. Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Roland Smith is rolling down the last side. Ooh. Johnny McBride. Oh, I heard a little bit of a holler from the rear wife far now. They said, Smithy, come on. Smith, Smith and Smith, they said. Let's go. You do it for the brothers. Out the last leg he goes down the hole. Johnny Kay's got the belly wall. So there's three, four. Five blows in it, four blows in it at the moment. Right up the back and down over the shoulder comes Cam Ferguson on stand number one. David Fagan a little bit behind him as he drops under the shoulder on stand number three. Round the long blow comes Gavin Mutt. At Sorry, uh, Darren Ford on five as he turns for home. The Scotsman flying in there on stand number four. He had a big cheer earlier on. He'll need to get his second wind on this one. Otherwise, he's going to get a sheep bit round him. He has now even as Johnny K comes over the last side. Down and out to the flank. Under the shoulder comes Rowley Smith, the boy from the north. Down and out to the flank, but it's tall. Captain Kirk down on stand number six with a change of steel, Phil. Yeah, he changed the handpiece. Roland Smith says, I've got to do the same. He wants the fresh cut. Let's see how they go now. Usually they get rid of this next one really, really quick. Kirkpatrick is into the first hind leg. Fagan over the last front shoulder. Then we go to Darren Ford on stand number five, and he's up the neck and round behind the ears. In front of him, we've got Gavin Much. Down here on stand number one, Cam Ferguson goes and changes a handpiece. He's in for number 12. David Fagan's in for number 12. And now this battle's still raging and gone. Kirkpatrick is still winning at the moment. Down over the last front shoulder he comes. Come on, start egging them on. There's only eight sheep left to go. This is the 2012 Open Final. Kirkpatrick has gained a couple of blows. Smith is trying to get him back. Eight sheep left to go, Norm. It's all here happening before us at Masterton. Oh, yes, it certainly is. These men are here because they're fast and clean. The quality, we can't see the quality points up on their big screen, but we know they've all got the quality. Roland Smith drives down the belly, flicks it out behind him. Into the first line leg he goes. But Johnny Kirkpatrick, he's just stretching that lead out a wee bit. Around into the long blow, he sweeps. The man from Napier down on stand number six. Come on, Darren Ford, go the south, brother. Into the long blow he goes. He's on sheep number 12 still. Roland Smith, Cam Ferguson, Johnny Kirkpatrick on 13. David Fagan from Tigger.